everyone so I have for you today a January wrap up and I'm also going to be letting you know what my February to be read list is. The first book I read this month was Lola and the Boy Next Door by Stephanie Perkins. This is a companion novel to Anna and the French Kiss and I thoroughly enjoyed it. I think I liked it more than Anna and the French Kiss maybe. I read it in about a day and I absolutely loved it. It was incredible. Next book I read was Leviathan by Scott Westerfeld and I've never actually read a steampunk novel before so it was really interesting and I, I really liked it. It was so good. Catch 22 by Joseph Heller. Um, I have to read this for school and it was a monster to get through. It took me about a month to read. Oh my gosh. This was pretty funny actually. Um, I quite enjoyed it. It was just really long and the writing is tiny and there's like 500 pages so yeah it took me a while to get through. I just realized that I was reading these two books at the same time and they both had to do with World War II. I also read The Perks of Being a Wallflower by Stephen Chabowski. I, I loved this book. Oh wow. It was, it was really, really good. Uh, so the next book I read was Freshman Year and Other Unnatural Disasters by Margaret Zietland. I really enjoyed it. I, I've never really been a fan of kind of like those, you know, high school kind of books. But I actually really enjoyed it. It was hilarious and really, really entertaining. Lastly, I read Living Dead Girl by Elizabeth Scott. I actually um, picked up this book after seeing a review by Liddy at The Book Monster. She did a review and I'll just link it in my pants. It was wow. I don't really know what I expected, but it was so so good. So yes, I got through six books this month. I'm starting to get back into a rhythm of reading books more and more again. I read those last three each um, each in a day, so the last few days. And oh, because of that, this is the third time I've recorded this video. I did it a few days ago after just reading these three because I didn't think I'd read any more because I was so stuck on this one and everything but then I picked up the perks of being a wallflower and I finished it in a day so I recorded it again and then I read freshman year and other unnatural disasters and living dead girl in the last couple of days so yes this is me doing another video so I've decided for each month I'm going to set um, three or four books that I'm going to read that kind of are in a particular genre or have a certain theme or something like that. It's to kind of get to reading books that I have been putting off reading. In some cases they'll help me to read some books to go towards different challenges like the debut author challenge. I'll be picking about three or four books a month and I'll aim to read those ones and if I do read them I'll read a couple of other books that I just feel like reading or other books I um, need to review and stuff like that so that's basically the idea. So for February I am going to be reading books that I have borrowed from other people. I thought it would be a good idea to get these borrowed books out of the way and back to their owners because a couple of them I have had for maybe a year and I feel really bad because I borrowed them from my ex-boyfriend's mum so it'd probably be a good idea to give those ones back. So the first book is The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo by Steve Glasson. I also really want to read this so I can go and watch the movie because I made a pledge to read the book before I watch a movie. So I have to read this so I can go and watch the movie that just came out because I've had so many good things about it and I'm getting really jealous. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. So I will get to reading this soon. Next is A Thousand Splendid Sun by Khaled Hosseini. I borrowed this book after uh, my friend told me about reading this and it sounds really, really good. It's, it's about this girl who's about 15 years old and she is forced to marry this guy who's like 30 years older than her and stuff like that so yeah. And lastly, uh, Sold by Patricia McCormick. I actually don't know what this is about. Sexual slavery. Okay. That's, I'm guessing that's what it's about. So those are the three books that I'm going to be planning on reading in February. Um, 
if you'd like me to do a review on any of them then just let me know and I'll try and do those uh, sometime in February or March possibly. I hope you all had a lovely new year and I will see you guys next time. Bye!